Recently, President Museveni, through his ex formerly Twitter handle and other social network platforms, informed the general public that the First Lady, also Minister for Education and Sports, had contracted COVID-19 and was in isolation. After this news going viral, people within and outside Uganda sympathized with her, sending comforting messages all in the spirit of wishing her a quick recovery. The National Women's Council, led by their chairperson, Hajati Farida Chibawa, is part of the list of well-wishers. In a special way, I want to ask the Almighty God um, to heal the First Lady of the Republic of Uganda, that is Mama Geneti, like you know, she has, been, uh, she has tested positive for COVID-19. We pray for her, we pray for the whole family, we pray for the president and the children, uh, and we wish Mama a quick recovery. Hayati Chibawa loaded government programs meant to empower and uplift women from the scourge of poverty. You know most of the challenges uh, that uh, women face is poverty. And poverty is a major cause of domestic violence. Uh, we are trying to fight uh, 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 poverty through all these programs. The president has come up with... Um, uh, uh, programs that can help people benefit, that can help people be empowered economically, including the women. All the programs that have come in place have targeted women, and we are grateful for this project. Even when the council has tried to sensitize women and teenage girls to enroll in different projects, the issue of gender-based violence among families remains a great concern. The National Women's Council, we have been able to reach out to the women leaders to make sure that they go down to the grassroots and make sure that they sensitize the fellow women that domestic violence is not something that is good, it does not add value to any, any of the families, apart from destroying families. Chibowa is to focus on sustainable national development of communities through promotion of peace, accountability, justice and self-development through training, sensitization, networking, lobbying, advocacy and provision of microfinance credit services. Emphasizing reaching out to the grassroots woman because as custodians of the rural women, we have to make sure that we reach out to the grassroots woman, a village woman leader, to know her role and responsibility. The National Women's Council Act of 1993, Cup 318, was started with an agenda of bringing all women of Uganda together for development purposes, irrespective of their religion, tribe, origin, status, or political affiliation. Ivan Juko and Michael Bakabulindi for UBC.